Hello everyone, here I am today giving you another little self-help video. Um, Walt and today's topic is all about power, okay? Now power sometimes gets a bad reputation in terms of, you know, absolute power corrupts absolutely and things like that. But at the end of the day, one of the best ways to relieve stress is to have power, okay? Now this comes from a basic uh, social psychology study I've talked about previously where they've looked at people of higher positions, lower positions, because initially they thought executives have to be the most stressed people. And they found out that in many cases, no, it's often the lowest kind of workers but sometimes it's not. Really, it's often when people feel that they have no power in their lives, that they're gonna have the greatest degree of depression, they're gonna have the greatest degree of negativity, and when they have this huge like degree of negativity, this is where you know you get people who are stressed all the time and the long-term stress response is gonna get them to shut down the immune system and so they're not gonna be fighting disease as well. You're gonna have faster aging like with the telomere problem and on top of all this, you're gonna have the negative mental attitude which may be the worst part of it because you're not gonna be able to see the good in the world. You're gonna feel like everything is always against you and you're gonna end up having this kind of complex of basically ending up in this river that is carrying you down to failure no matter what you do, no matter how hard you swim, because you're swimming against this mind that is almost two million times more powerful than your own, because that's the subconscious mind for it, you guys. If you haven't seen my video, it's my first kind of self-help video here on the subconscious mind, so check that one out. But anyway, the need for power is an important one to me, I find, because I think there are so many times in our lives where we're like, I just can't do this. I can't do this work my boss is asking me to do. I can't do this work for my coach, for my fitness routine, for my, like, whatever it is, okay? I can't do this work for studying. I can't do this work for this or that or anything. Sometimes it's even things we love. We just feel like, I don't have enough power. You feel like my life is all just, you know, <laughs> doing things for other people. It's always just doing this and doing that and it's never about freedom. And I think so many people feel this more than ever as standards have been raised, especially overseas um, these days in terms of the education system where people are working nonstop, like day in, day out, like doing these 16 hour days of craziness just to go nowhere. And I mean, this is truly like, time to play the Mad World song because that's the that's the true situation, you know? Daily races going nowhere. And I think that so many people start to feel that. Now, there are a few different ways you can approach this. You can do this like the uh, rich dad, poor dad uh, approach if you want, if you guys want to do that. Uh, say what you will about the author, but it is a fantastic guide kind of to how to think about finance, how to think about freeing yourself eventually from the rat race. So there's a practical solution there if you want to uh, just check out the audio copy or read the book or see the summary or whatever. I'd recommend Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and the whole series is pretty good on that kind of stuff. If you want to look for an emotional solution while you do that or are fine with, you know, being a part of the rat race kind of thing and just want to be able to cope better with that situation. One of the best ways to deal with it is really to get power in your life in some area. So it could be your diary, it could be your books that you're writing, it could be your videos, it could be your free time, it could be your family, it could be your friends, it could be your softball team. Whatever it is that can give you joy and pleasure, okay? No matter how, middle, how little of it you can get, okay? Because you probably want to maximize that overall, but as little as you can get, if you can feel like because I'm captain of the softball team that, you know, because you do that, maybe you feel that you have power in your life. Now, some people are going to have a really hard time doing this, but in general, the best idea is to go and find something that you really love, that you're really passionate about, and this can give you a lot of pleasure, and it can also give you the sense that you have control of something in your life. Okay, now, the second step, if you wanna go further than that, is to let go of the illusion of control, okay? Now this one seems a little against your natural power kind of intuition, because naturally we think, wait a second, you're saying I can't control things, but I thought this was about power, this was about controlling things. No, 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 okay, see, it's the illusion of control is this notion that we should have control over everything in our lives. Like Stuart Wilde talks about this, I believe in his first chapter of um, one of his best books, I would say, the uh, 33 Steps um, book of the infinite self. I'd recommend you check that one out. I'm doing a review series on that if you guys haven't, so watch that at least. Anyway, the basic idea here is really that when you we often have these negative thoughts, and some people have them nearly all the time. Some say that our self-talk is almost 87.5% negative. 
and we have this tendency just to be negative all the time. Now, you can argue the nature could be different than that, but really, the truth is that we just need to program our mind to be happier, okay? And we also need to let go of this illusion that we kind of should be able to control things. We're like walking down the street and we fall over, we want a pain-free existence, there's pain, oh well, suddenly we have a contradiction. And this kind of example is just so obvious. I think it's illustrated well in Kung Fu Panda, if you've never seen that movie, definitely watch it, um, on the whole illusion of control thing, because I think that the advice there is almost exactly correct. There are some things we can't control, but if we expect that we should be able to control everything, suddenly everything breaks down, okay? When you have the need to control absolutely everything, that's perfectionism, and it's going to wind you up in trouble, okay? So, second step here is let go of the illusion of control, but you need to start out from a perspective where you have some level of control in your life, because if you're trying to let go of the illusion of control and you're dealing with anxiety and depression and all these kind of negative thoughts, you're not gonna be able to make much progress. So the first step is to kind of find a rock to latch onto, okay? And eventually we're gonna be able to reverse the direction of this river to flow onto positivity and to happiness. First step, okay, find something you can have any power in. I don't know what it is, I don't care what it is, okay, if there's any little thing you can have some power in, do some of that every day, and that will really reinforce the idea that you do have power in your life. Once you're comfortable doing this to some areas of your life, and you have a plan for what you want to do with your overall life, it doesn't need to be a good plan, it doesn't need to be a plan that you're going to stick to necessarily, but if you can just make a plan for how you're going to be free of the rat race, or free of, you know, debt, or free of this, or free of that, when you can see a path to freedom, often humanity is, you know, really inspired by freedom. So, the more freedom you can get, often the case, the better. Now, that's really the key to power here. We all need power in our life, or at least the illusion of having power, because that is just extremely desirable to human beings overall. Now, maybe there's a state of enlightenment later on where we're going to be able to let go of our need for power to some degree, but the ones who often abuse their power are those who probably, who like don't really understand their power, don't really understand why they have it, and they feel powerless in some other area in many cases, and that's why they tend to abuse their power. Regardless, the idea here is latch onto something, okay? Reverse the direction of the river so you can have some positivity. Be thinking that everything is great. See the good in everything. So have some power, get your mind to be positive, and ultimately try to let go of that illusion of control, okay? And in the end, you're gonna be powerful, you're gonna be happy, okay? Power and happiness are not the same thing, but if you're happy, you can easily become powerful. Thanks everybody for watching. I'm Walt, I'll give you guys the next video soon enough, so stay tuned. I'll see you then.